floating. Welcome back to the channel, Fishing Freaks. Got a real, just basic vlog for you today. Doing just basic things. Basic things. What we do, actually, this is a little something different. Preparations for New Zealand are going on. We're still keeping it real. We're doing our family thing, getting prepped, doing something every day, training mm -hmm. with Amy. I wanted to cut on the camera because. Steph said this morning, she's like, I'm gonna pull out some crappie. We're gonna make some crappie. And I was like, ooh, what kind of, ooh, what do we know we're gonna do that French right off? She's like, no, we're gonna do something different. And I was like, well, different what? Don't be messing with my crappies now. We always do Frank's Red Hot. So, I like to mix it up a little bit. So we're doing some egg wash with, we're both fans of flour based, like a nice crispy yeah. flour texture instead of like a whole bunch of cornmeal. There is some cornmeal in here, but it's mainly flour. And we're using some of this. We've never used it before. Tell them, tell them what this is. Cosmo is like a world champion steak uh, maker and barbecuer. He's a champion of, of foods, delicious foods off the grill and other things. He's got a bunch of this stuff and he's got different spices, rubs, sauces, like stuff to rub down your steaks, and your, your favorite meats, basically. He made some fish. I brought him some crappie the other day up at the uh, Guggen HQ, and he used some of this stuff on it, and it was awesome. SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. That's basically all it is. And, yeah, salt, pepper, garlic. I, I asked the same dumb question. I was like, SPG, oh man. Well, because it doesn't what does that stand for? I was like, well, he was like salt, pepper, garlic. And I was like, oh, well, I sound like a. You know what? You don't have to use much. Did you already add some in here? I did. This one. You see some like peppery flakes in there? I see some peppery flakes. You in think there, that's honey. too much? Like, how much did you add? What are you What are you thinking? Like a couple tablespoons. A couple tablespoons. Yeah. I don't know. I might dash it just a hair more. You think so? You said a little goes a long way. I know, but I want to. I want to feel the flavor. Yeah, standard tater fries. That's pretty much. I love those. Those are my. Those are my faves. Faves, and then Steph, you know, she's got to add something green into gotta the mix. Gotta have something green. Yeah, this is Emmy's new thing. She uh, she grabs a hold of your legs, especially when I'm cooking. And uh, she won't let go. Stephanie stepped on her I toe the other on night. Her finger. On her finger, and, and it, it was it was heartbreaking. It was. She was like, ah! but you know. She's like a little puppy dog. She's like always wanting to be around your, your feet. It makes me really want to mop our floors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> It's always scary. Scariness. Okay, back to the fishes' deliciousnesses. Let's show everybody the process. You got this oil hot yet? It's getting there. We're going cast iron. Look at that. That looks like a beautiful placid lake right there, ready for top water. So we don't want to touch that. It's very hot. Grease can be deceiving. It's not hot yet. Psss. Is that how you test it? Mm -hmm. Sprinkle salt in it? Well, no, it's the flour. So if it like, oh. if it boils or if it bubbles up, then you know it's ready. Oh, dang. It's that's, a, that's a good little trick. I just learned something right there. You got something from Amazon. What did you order? You're oh, always ordering something yeah, so, from Amazon. Yeah, so preparations every day for the New Zealand. I feel um, like it's always a joke that like the woman in the household is always ordering things in this situation. My buddy sends me this photo, he's like, first day we're going in, 17K, and then, you know, make sure you got your trekking poles. I'm like, 17K? What? 17,000 feet? What are we doing? Like, oh my gosh, that's, I need oxygen or something going all the way up there. I don't know. I've never been on a mountain hunt. So I asked him, I was like, what's 17,000 feet? He's like, no, 17 kilometers, which is, is a long ways, but it's not 17,000 feet. That's a big I would, difference. I would probably die. My liver would probably fail at 17,000 I know. Feet. I was already like, okay, you better hydrate. You better eat. You better... <laughs> I will be praying for you. But anyway, it's something like that every day. It's like, you know, we're not going to have food for this many days. We got to have this. Like, make sure you bring this, you know. Uh, once you're up there, you're kind of screwed. So, you can't really go to your local Walmart and and get some stuff. So anyways, yes, I'm ordering things from Amazon. It's nothing crazy, but there are some things that I, I just got that I'm gonna show you guys after we get this fish done. Show you the, the preparations, because we're getting close. Okay, so step one in this process. Egg wash. You put it in an egg wash. That's a couple of eggs just kind of swirled up. Mm -hmm. We call that scrambled. Um, <laughs> whisked. Whisked. 
using a whisk. Whisked. And then uh, you're putting it in a 100% flour mixture just with the spices. Actually, there is some cornmeal. Oh, you point it. I just said it was more flour. It looks all flour, all right, right? Whatever. Still Watch out. Amy's right there behind you. Oh, yeah. I feel her. Look at these daggum beefy crappies, though. Sorry, that one that I just did was like Wee, baby, baby. Steak. They're like little steaks. They are. They're like little daggum steaks. I'm kind of glad that you got off the water early today because I was hungry. Yeah, so I was planning on, since you were you had these and I didn't know, I was like, well, maybe we don't have enough. It's going to be enough. Uh, I was like, oh, I'll go out there and try to catch some white bass. But as soon as I got out there, the lake was flooded. And uh, for one of the first times ever, I got my boat and I was like, I, don't, I didn't bring a single camera. I don't, left, I don't have anything. You left all your cameras here? I, I left every single camera. All I had was an iPhone. <laughs> and I was like, well, this ain't happening. Uh, hey, I, I don't really you should go do fishing that next. Without. You should do an iPhone vlog. An iPhone vlog? Yeah. Why? Because it's like back to the OG days. I never, I've never done that. I know, but it's like... You know, on YouTube, you can say, my iPhone vlog. I like where your head's at. Trying to get those views. <laughs> OSG, try to get them views. I'm trying to get You get that <laughs> iPhone SEO in there. Nobody else has gotten Babe, that's my pinky toe. And I broke it the other day. Uh, so don't squeeze that. Guess y'all, I this toe right here, it's got some sort of little fa fracture happening. I've been training like every day, and uh, I was running as 11 pound pack. I waited afterwards, but it felt like a lot when I was running. Uh, my, my feet got a little tired after mile three or four, and I uh, I straight up jammed my uh, my toe right into a rock. I've broken it a couple times on those runs. It's just a little hairline fracture, uh, but it, it, it definitely hurt, definitely hurt. Who needs the pinky toe? You don't really need it. Don't really engage it too much. The stickiness does happen does. when when you get into the fish game, but and it's all worth it. It is all worth it when you like. Put look that how thick that is. In your mouth. Yes. Look how thick that is. That is a thick old crappie. Gosh, I want to go out and fish for those again. That was so much fun. I want to go crappie like, fishing. This is our last batch. You want to go crappie fishing? Is that what you said? I miss crappie fishing with you. That's my favorite fishing. You know what? It's it is crappie. about time. And someone actually commented about this the other day. It's about time for us to go out to old Lake Sam Rayburn out there mm -hmm. at ET. Mm -hmm. uh, about the month of May, they start really moving offshore. And that's when they group up and we can catch them. Uh, even Amy could catch them. Well, I was going to say, do you remember the up. last time that we went? It was when I was pregnant with Emmy. Yeah, and you weren't having it. It got a what? little hot. It got about 85 degrees. No, and that you was were... the time before. Oh, was it? Okay. Last time I We've been there. crappie fishing multiple times. It's just been so long since we fished, babe. I know. Like, I don't even remember the last time that we ever went. When, was uh, it like when we did a gender reveal? It might have been. It might have been. It might have been. And the, little Amy, she's going to get out there one of these days. And you're gonna catch a little bluegill. Or a white bass. That was my first fish. Are you surprised? Probably not. That's how you know. That's how you know. A little magic it's drop. Ready. All you need. That's kind of a big drop. All you need is a little drop. All right, stick them in. They're ready. All right, coming in hot. Emmy girl. Blub, 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 blub. It doesn't seem that hot. Well, you can turn it up a little bit. And how do we know they're done? When they float. When they're magical floaters. When they become golden crispies. Cosmo Q, he's got a bunch of stores. He sells this stuff just about, just about everywhere. Spices are sold, I think. I'm not really sure. First batch coming in hot and ready. Floating. Water. Floating and golden brown. Those are the two criteria that you need. Second batch is always better. You think so? Yeah, there's a little bit more flavor in the grease at that point. There's a happy medium. It's like the second batch is the best, the third and fourth, they start getting a little nasty. This is way more than you and I will eat anyway. So when I get back from New Zealand, I think we we, we got to do it. We got to do it? Yeah, we got to go crappie fishing. It's All time right. to restock because that's our last batch. That means we need a babysitter. Andy, you will be babysat. All golden crispies have been extracted from the grease. They are mm. delectably golden. And that is like fast food quality. 
Fast food quality? <laughs> Girl, Girl, get out of here. You mean country kitchen quality. Yeah. There you go. I just mean like the batter. You know how like Kentucky Fried Chicken gets their batter like just right? Um, yeah, I haven't had Kentucky Fried Chicken in a while. I'll tell you what, some Popeyes though. I was gonna say, you like some Popeyes. I like Chick-fil-A really. Like if we could put Chick-fil-A on that, I might I might just have a heart attack and, and just keel over. And just never eat anything else for the rest of your life? Yeah, uh, I'd be pretty locked into the, oh. that right there. We'll let these crispies cool off, and then we're gonna give them a little taste test. You're, you're letting me taste the first bite? Yeah, I'm gonna taste the first bite with the SPG. Go for the extra crispy side. Careful now. That was a big bite. How hot is it? The crispiness was on point. Analyzi analyzing? Mm -hmm. Calculating? I do taste the garlic. I taste the garlic more than I taste the pepper, but it's good. Second okay, bite. well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle here. Just gonna go for a, a manual sprinkle. She grabs her uh, grabs her hair all the time. It's pretty funny. It's pretty, I'm glad I don't have long hair actually. Golden crispy. It's okay. It just doesn't have that doesn't have that zang like they normally do. I think it was the way they were fried. How would you fry them? You can fry them next time. I, I mean, I give I give it an eight. I'm gonna eat them all. Don't get it wrong. I'm a crappie connoisseur though. I like a little bit more crispiness. Just do you think it has anything to do with, with the because, egg? Because it might have been the egg. Are you honestly. sure it's not anything to do with because it was frozen previously? The other ones we always do fresh. Well, it, nothing's ever as good as, yeah, That's fresh. Right. But they are good, y'all. There's a little bit of flour, flour bubble here. Still very good though. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, this right here. If y'all are uh, frequent fish cookers, bay it on there and then eat it. So I ended up devouring all the rest of the crappie. They were actually delicious. Like, the more I ate, the more I enjoyed them. So if you'd like yourself a little traditional style fish, I highly recommend that. Uh, they've also got another one that's like, uh, like vinegar, like salt and vinegar, I think would be pretty good as well. Uh, you know, Steph mentioned that I, I'm getting stuff like every day and that's cause I'm, I'm preparing. I'm preparing for a journey that I've, uh, I've never been on. I'm only going on research and what, my friends are telling me I've never done anything like it, so I've got to get the stuff. Anyways, some of the things I got in today, I'll show with you, I'll show you guys. I'll share with you. I got with this. Um, it's called a X Brew. It's basically a pour over system for making uh, coffee. You guys know I love coffee, absolutely. And I'm going to be taking some free range. I I keep um, I have two of these, and uh, I absolutely love these things. These are uh gator coffee gators and what they do is they keep your coffee fresh now i'm not taking this this one because it's too big and my other one is way too big but basically these just keep your coffee fresh it puts a nice seal on it okay so let me just show you how this works because even up at 3,000 feet when i'm hunting in the mountains i gotta have myself some coffee that's how addicted i am it just gets me going uh it's part of the outdoor experience for me whether I'm on the water or hunting, I like to have me some coffee. Let's use our other thing that we got as an example. These are these are cheap little things. It's not like I'm spending a ton of money on these items, but uh, all this other stuff that's in here in camera gear, it has cost me a lot. Like the trip is not costing me hardly anything. I'm going with a friend and just knows people and whatnot. But actual gear just to go on things like this is is freaking expensive. And I'll be doing a total unpacking of that once I get everything figured out. Weight is gonna be an issue. So I got a titanium cup. Make my food, so I'm eating dehydrated meals, so I'm gonna be boiling water, and this is also to make the coffee. So this little duber right here pops out, so it's collapsible, and then you have your side that you pour your water in. And then your coffee just goes right in there, and there's a uh, wire mesh filter right there, so you don't have to carry any any you know paper filters or anything like that 
Not the paper weighs a whole lot, but you know, extra best. And then I got myself a little bit more variety in the food game. I love myself some dumplings. I'm a Southern boy, I love me some dumplings. I actually did not have enough originally of these. And I got a kind of a variety of pack before. But uh, I just wanted to switch it out. I wanted to get a little bit more because I need more. I need about, uh, about 15, 16 of these. And I went with uh, chicken and dumplings. Just straight up chicken and dumplings in here. I'm thinking about having this for breakfast, you know. I actually like to eat foods like this for breakfast on the regular. Uh, rather than just doing like oatmeal or cereal or things like that. So these little peppies are going to be going in my belly up there in the mornings in the mountains after I have myself my little coffee sesh. Oh, this is why... This is going to be uh, my biggest challenge in the outdoors. The biggest outdoor adventure I've ever done is because uh, the preparation, the, the thought that goes into um, this, this whole hunt, I think it's gonna be the best series that we've ever put out on this channel. So y'all better stay tuned, it's gonna get saucy. And that is gonna do it for today's episode, y'all. Just short and sweet. I'm gonna to continue to upload more of these short, simple vlogs where I'm just showing you kind of the preparation and what's going on leading up to the big trip. So go ahead, subscribe right here, y'all, so you don't miss the upcoming vlogs and the adventure time. Coming soon. I'm getting prepped. Ready, baby. And if y'all want Steph's crappie recipe from tonight, I'll have it listed down below, along with our Lake Life family channel where you could follow along with all the other stuff we do around here. This is LFG signing off for Outdoor Greatness, and I'll see you on the next one, y'all.